All right, well, this is uh, the second part of the afternoon here, and uh, I really just want to do a little bit of uh, broadening the horizons uh, for a small game here on the channel. Uh, I want to do some catch and cook. I uh, want to do some rabbit hunting. Obviously, we're doing a squirrel hunt today. I uh, really want to just kind of, you know, open the door there for some small game hunts here. Uh, unfortunately, I'm still at zero, so... <laughs> the guys, uh, I think we've got three total squirrels, so... Uh, but anyway, hopefully I can get one here because I want to do a... Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do a, a stew or, or what yet, but I've been talking with the, the other team members and, uh, you know going over some recipes but anyway I gotta get one first so hey wish me luck stay tuned well I was finally starting to get some squirrel action After all the times of deer hunting and seeing squirrels throughout the day, I never thought it would be this difficult to find squirrels when you actually are trying to kill them. Unfortunately, I was having a difficult time getting zeroed in on these squirrels. I would only see them for a brief moment on the ground, or I'd lose them in the sunlight in the trees ahead. Finally, I inched forward and was able to get one close enough and clear enough to get a shot. Close enough, clear enough. I was able to get a good shot. I missed one earlier. Sorry, I wasn't able to get it on camera. Perfect shot, though. Right in the head. All right, well, I uh, finally got my first squirrel. Sorry, I wasn't able to, just wasn't able to get my GoPro on in time. Um, it was the first one that was just close enough and clear enough that so I was able to get a shot. I missed one earlier. And I moved down here to check to make sure, I, you know, that I didn't hit it and kind of stayed in this spot. And finally, this could even be the same squirrel, I'm not sure. But I uh, heard a squirrel barking up the hill, turned around, there's an eagle flying over it. It wasn't less than a minute later here, this one came trotting around right behind me, so put a perfect shot on it. One way. Which way is that? The right way or the wrong way?
guess it was an early morning kill. Well, that's where the water helps kind of loosen the skin a little bit too. Yeah, if you wouldn't kill so many deer, your knife would be sharp for the squirrel. All right, folks. Well, there are definitely several different methods you can use to clean squirrels. Unfortunately, I only took the opportunity to film the first squirrel of the day. But I'm going to stop this video right here as it does begin to get a little bit much even for myself. I'll show this picture of my finger as you can see. We definitely had a time in cleaning these squirrels. Alright folks, well it's a couple weeks later uh, and we're in the kitchen. We're going to get right into uh, the next portion of this video which is the cook and then my favorite part, the eat. Well, we didn't win the tournament, but fortunately we were able to walk away uh, with a mess of squirrels. I remember from my childhood eating plenty of squirrel, plenty of rabbit, uh, and it's just uh, something that I'm wanting to get into a little bit more here on the channel, some small game hunting. Uh, but, I, you know, I, I cook deer, I, I process and cook my own deer, but this is something new to me, so I'm going to stick to what I know, and basically it's, it's, it's just a simple way that that I prepare the deer as far as um, you know what I, what I roll it in so here I'll show you some of the ingredients here okay like I said it's just simple ingredients you got eggs milk all-purpose flour shortening I'll be seasoning it with uh, garlic powder and salt and pepper that's basically what we're gonna do today no fancy sides no fancy uh, seasoning we're just gonna get right into it Okay, so like I said, I'm gonna stick to what I know and just kind of gonna prepare this like I would and season it like I would if I was frying up some deer. Hopefully, we got uh, some more squirrel action coming back at you, and I'll begin to grow and learn uh, and kind of hone the trait a little bit, so to speak. So, anyway, first thing what we want to do is we want to go ahead and get this uh, set up so we can get get this meat put into the uh, this eggs. So. Crack these up by the uh, by movie magic. I may just get right through this. I'm gonna do about six eggs here. I do have some tenderloin. I'm gonna be frying up. Um, I got a boat show this weekend. And I'm going to go ahead and prepare some meals um, ahead of time. I'm going to fry me up some tenderloin uh, for tomorrow's lunch and dinner. And have squirrel tonight. So stay tuned. All right. After we get our eggs cracked, I'm just going to add just a little bit of milk. I do not add much milk at all. Uh, I really don't like it. Uh, I think it thins down uh, the batter a little bit. So once I get that, I'm going to, I'm going to add some garlic powder. Right on top. I'm pretty generous with it. I season it basically this way uh, uh, in every <laughs> phase of the cook. Salt. Basically, I'm just watching the surface get an even coat. Pepper. I'm almost out of pepper. Just basically giving a coat on the surface, mix it up just a little bit, not a whole lot, just enough to kind of let those eggs mix. Alright, now I'm going to go grab the squirrel. 
All right. Well, I did uh, do some additional prep work last night. Um, so usually I let this sit while I'm continuing to do my prep prep work and uh, letting these soak for a little bit. They probably won't uh, soak as much as I'd like them to, but I'll give them a good a good stirring before we throw them in the skillet. So nice big chunks. Um, so again, usually deer, turkey, hunter, uh, we let these legs attached to the back. There are some backs in here, um, but I separated them. You can see the back. Separated them. Just wasn't quite sure on how they'd work out. Again, maybe on the next uh, mess of squirrels that we have, I'll leave them attached, but I am also trying to sell my family on this. <laughs> so I may actually deliver some legs to some folks here this evening. So anyway, we're going to fast forward this and get you right into it. All right. Well, with my deer, I take uh, additional time in preparation and I score the meat to tenderize it. I did score um, the squirrel a little bit. I also let it soak uh, for about three days in salt water. Uh, that'll take out some of the gaminess, basically bleeding it, and dumping out the water uh, a few times a day. And that uh, really cuts down on the game, the gamey taste of it. Uh, but I scored the back of the legs and cut the tendons a little bit. Um, that allows us to get into the crevices a little bit more and really makes for a, a nice batter. We'll give this a little bit of time and, and prep the skillet. All right, so again, everybody has their own way of doing things, and I wouldn't expect you to do it exactly how, how I do. But again, I'm just prepping this like I would... Uh, when I'm frying up deer, I don't get very many complaints. I've really honed my skill on the old frying of the deer, and you can tell it too. But so I'm just gonna add some all-purpose flour. This isn't the bowl I like, and I want my bowl, but it's got tenderloins in it <laughs> uh, in the in the fridge. So anyway, get get some uh, all-purpose flour. Grab the garlic powder basically give that a good coat on top don't be stingy with the garlic powder plenty plenty garlic powder okay and if you don't like garlic powder you don't have to do that I think it really brings out and gives it a good flavor plenty of salt Again, every stage, I'll even re-season it once it gets pulled from the, the fryer. Get something that kind of looks like that. Okay. And then basically, I like to have all my, I double dip. So I like to have every piece of meat already dipped once uh, and while the, um, the grease is getting hot, before I put it in again, I'll give it another dip. So I do double dip. I'm a double dipper. All right. Basically, I just run two hands. One, I'm mixing and turning the, uh, the meat and the eggs. The other one, I'm working in the, in the, uh, the flour. Making it get an even coat. Again, I guess you would, I don't even fry chicken much. I just go to Kentucky Fried, but this is how I fry deer up. Um, so just give it a good heavy coat. Here's a back. And then, like I said, before I put throw it in the hot grease, uh, I will put it in the flour again. I don't double dip into the egg. Uh, because I do spend some time here on getting it into the to the crevices that I don't want to get it out on the, on the egg. So we ended up with quite a bit of squirrels. Um, another team donated their squirrels for us. What I have noticed is that uh, squirrel is a little bit of a high maintenance. Um, 
they're, they got a tough they got a tough hide um, and they're definitely not the easiest to clean so hopefully it'll be well worth it when we get this from the skillet to the plate also if you get down into the comments uh, maybe you have a recipe maybe you see something here that I could be doing better uh, that I'm not doing correctly again this is my this is my first time ever of frying squirrel I eat plenty as a child um, so get down in the comments let me know what I could be doing differently any recipes you can think of this is my first catch uh, catch cleaning cook hopefully we'll have some more of these small games uh, small game episodes coming up we'll be able to do this again it's all good boy these are probably gonna be pretty excellent I think I'm gonna like this I don't know if I can eat five squirrels tonight but I'm sure gonna try squirrels in the Ozarks might be endangered now endangered species in the Ozarks squirrel on high alert all right folks sorry about that I had to uh, remove some memory from this HD camera here um, because if you haven't already seen I mean season three we've had a ton of action I mean we've had some uh, some serious uh, bow hunts uh, we've had some uh, nice buck encounters uh, Matt Eden he's killed a couple on film uh, you know had this squirrel hunt uh, we, we're coming down to the end of season we're going to transition right into uh, turkey season we're going to be doing a lot of fishing this summer uh, low boats has a boat pool program uh, so hopefully we'll be able to, to take out a stinger 175 bass boat or do some drift fishing uh, from a pontoon or DV not quite sure yet but we got a lot of cool things in store for for you here this summer all right well the grease is starting to get warm uh, so I have turned it down just a little bit I hear that the trick here uh, is to cook them slow and usually uh, anything past my first skillet of uh, frying up deer I, I cook it real slow anyway sometimes it takes a little bit to get that grease nice and hot but once that grease is hot shouldn't have too much problems with it so anyway we'll go ahead and just I mean it's still not super hot and I'm gonna double dip these again I'm gonna put them back in the I'm gonna put them back in the uh, flour we're gonna lay our first one in I do not go skimp uh, on the shortening because I don't want anything sticking to the bottom of the pan. I want them to float around in that in that grease. There, the official first squirrel leg is in the pot. Yo, that's what I'm talking about. Man, that's a big leg. It's kind of like, you know, hot wings, I guess. Little wings. Be all right. Like I said, squirrels. They could be in danger. They could be in serious danger. They better go run and hide in their little holes in their trees. Oh, I'm getting hungry anticipating this. Uh, so, the other day, I had some frog legs and all I could do was look ahead to this moment and I be, knew I was going to be frying up these squirrel legs and I hope I hope that they're better than them frog legs we're looking to get some frogs this summer for sure so I don't know if I'll be able to get this in one skillet or not. We'll see. Get that a little bit more even there. I think I got room for a few more pieces. My stomach is growling, yo. Yeah. 
and we'll just start stirring it around. I think I'm going to hold off on the other, those other ones. I don't want to get too full here. Alright, all right, here we go. We're going to start to flip these. I'm going to flip them nice and slow. I did turn up the heat a little bit. Um, but that batter just isn't sticking to it like I want. It's really now just starting to hang on there. But it is popping. This grease is popping. Oh, they look beautiful. I got tongs, but like I said, I don't want that batter coming off. Folks, I'm getting hungry. I'm telling you that right now. Look how golden brown those are. Ooh, popped in the face a little bit ago. We'll give that a few more minutes. All right, folks, went ahead and pulled them so I could go ahead and get uh, the remaining pieces in the skillet. The two backs are in there. I'm really curious about them. Uh, but you can see just how wonderful these look. I mean, I'm telling you what, folks. We'll go ahead and put the last bit of salt and pepper on there and give them a I like, you know, your own preference on how much you like. I like a lot of salt and pepper. Like I said, basically this is how I do up my deer. Like this. So, anyway, I'll give that just another minute. Keep an eye on these other, uh, this other skillet. And I'll take my first test. Uh, all right, first taste test. Stay tuned. All right, folks, here we go. First, squirrel leg. Dear Lord, bless this food. Help it to be nursing to my, my body, Lord. Help it be good as I think I know it's going to be. Amen. <laughs> oh, my mouth's watering so much. Let's just try it. I hope it's not too hot. Folks, man. Mm, thank you, Lord. That's good. That's good right there. Hey, look out, squirrels. <laughs> You're in trouble. Mm. Worth it. Worth the hassle of cleaning them. Worth the extra time that it took a little bit in prep. I like to do spend a lot of time in prep. Mmm. That's just so good. See the plenty of seasoning on there. Ha! Oh, folks. Wow. I'm telling you what. We um, spoke today. We do have another small game hunt coming up. Um, February 15th. That's the last day. Uh, for season of a lot of small of small game, I think there's a couple uh, that carry on into uh, uh, March 1st. But so hopefully if we're going to get some more. We need to get some more soon because this is delicious. Anyway, thanks so much for uh, staying tuned with us. Uh, if you hadn't already, like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. We got plenty of action still to come. I'm trying to to broaden the horizons uh, and bring some new content. 
Uh, but anyway, thanks again so much. We'll see you next time.